make sure you blend it really well, because last time I was sweating a whole lot. Good evening, and welcome to CTV. I'm Tanner Frost. And I'm Christine Harrington. Here are this week's top stories. Well, from bad hombres to nasty women and puppets, well, the third and final debate... You're the puppet. Yeah, um, the third and final debate is concluded and has spooked everyone just in time for Halloween. Since the debate, Clinton's polls have been increasing, just like the amount of emails WikiLeaks has disclosed of hers. Meanwhile, Ken Bone's popularity remains as pleasing and infamous as his red sweater. He's the jolly hero we didn't know we needed. Like Batman. <coughs> or Santa. Wait, well actually, have you heard the recent news about him? I don't read the news. Okay, yes, moving on. During the debate, um, there were quite a few moments where Trump claimed that Hillary was wrong. Wrong. And that... I didn't say that. ...in response to things he actually said. For example, on the subject of his relationship with Vladimir Putin. What exactly is your relationship with Vladimir Putin? I have no relationship with Putin. Do you have a relationship with Vladimir Putin, a conversational relationship, or anything that you feel you have sway or influence over his government? I do have a relationship. I have no relationship with him. But if you have no relationship with Putin, then why did you say in 2013, I do have a relationship? He said very nice things about me, but I have no relationship with him. And here joining us this evening is President Vladimir Putin himself to discuss and clarify his relationship with Donald Trump. Thank you for joining us tonight. Oh. Guys, where's Putin? He's, he was just here, but he said he had to make a phone call. Donald, I thought we had something. What do you mean? I, I don't understand why you do this. Why you say these things? <laughs> well, will someone please escort Mr. Putin outside? <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, <laughs> we're just going to turn it over to Matt with the weather. Matt. Hey, thanks, guys. Um, as you can see on this map here, it is very sunny in this area where we are, and it will continue to stay very sunny as long as the sun stays out, except for at night when there's no sun, but it will also still be nice then. Um, we aren't expecting much rain because of the lack of clouds where we are. Um, in other news, there aren't, we aren't expecting also where any other hurricanes Matt's because no, there are back in the Matt. area. What's this? It's not even Sunday, Matt. Come on. <laughs> Where's he going? <laughs> Matthew? Matt. Matt. No. C come on. No, Matt. Matt. Don't. Matt, this is our Don't show. Don't do it. This is our show, Matt. I can do it. <clears throat> I can do this. Thank you, Matt. Yeah, thanks. In other news, the College of Charleston is preparing to open their production of Stage Door. Joining us to give us more information about this production is our theatrical correspondent, Claudio Rivera. Claudio? Hello, it's Claudio here. I am here at this stage door, like you asked. Uh, you may notice on the sign, it says no admittance. Uh, that's because um, it's not open. And uh, it will open on the 17th. Uh, it's going to be open to the public. We're going to try and get a sneak peek right now. And no, um, like they said, Claudia, uh, we, we can't get in, no admittance. The production but, is um, called Stage Door. Correspondence. Yes, I am here in front of the stage door, like you asked. Uh, oh. Do you have any information about the actual... Yes, I told them the 17th is when it will be open. Uh, it's going to be open for four whole days. Come see it. No, okay, okay. Great, <sighs> great. Thank, thank you, Claudio. Yeah, thanks. Well, this just in, um, South Carolina officials have oh, currently... I got half, half pepperoni, half sausage. Is that, is that okay? We're rolling, Justin. Are you, you, Justin, no. Really Not again. Oh, my God, Justin. Where are the breadsticks? Oh, sorry. Oh, shit. These interns are f***ing Still this. rolling. <clears throat> okay, well, turning it over to some sports news. Uh, the new NBA season has just kicked off, and Chicago and Cleveland are currently battling it out in the World Series. Now, I actually have a few things to say about this. The Cleveland Indians are the second worst thing to happen to Native Americans in 2016, right after the Dakota Access Pipeline. Wait, why? Have you seen their mascot? The Cleveland Indians mascot is the worst depiction 
of Native Americans since Columbus landed and called them Indians. This is as bad as naming a football team the Redskins. Like, if this, if this is not cultural, you know what? No, this is just racist. It's just plain racist. Yeah, I suppose a purple dinosaur-looking creature with a yellow mustache is a exactly. pretty offensive I mean, to some what? cultures. No, what? Guys, that's the wrong logo. I meant, I didn't mean the mascot. I meant the actual logo. You said the Cleveland's Indians mascot. I thought you would understand what I mean. Yep, that's it. That's the logo. Cool. Okay, well, that's all we have for you tonight. I'm Christine Harrington. And I'm Tanner Frost. Have a great evening.